Chris Matherly. This is the 2018 video morale forecast for the 2018 season. I also give some reports and some other important information for this season and hope you enjoy. I'm Chris Matherly with the Morale Mike Morning Club. I just uh, want to give you the, my predictions and uh, estimations of what's going to come for the 20, 2011 Morale Second. season. This particular one is going to be a report plus a forecast for this year's season. Hello, I'm Chris Matherly. This is the first video morale report of the 2016 season. Hi, I'm Chris Matherly. This is the video morale report and forecast for the 2017 season. The 2018 Royal Mushroom Hunting Season is going to be huge, huge. I don't know, 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 Record 12 inch snowfall in December. Then it warmed up. It was warmer in February than March. Got everything going. Made the red buds come out and uh, flocks and Bradford pears and and then it got cold again and froze the uh, blossoms on the tulip tree. Uh, my oak tree in the backyard is still not leaving out at all and one of the indicators is when the squirrel's ears are the same size as the oak leaves coming out that's a good time it's just a kind of a odd season here in the south south and uh even a little further south it's even even um, more odd even just recently the midwest is continues to get pounded with more winter weather and snowfall after all of the nor'easters that hit one after another in New England. So I made a couple of different maps. One has to do with my timing forecast and uh, there's kind of a fine line in the south with early and average and then late. Um, like in Georgia the black morels hasn't even showed up and they're and they're coming all the way into southern indiana now it's uh, just really odd um that it, it warmed up and then cooled back down and st stayed kind of cool here and was warmer further north the other map has to do with um how good it's going to be i don't think any place is going to be just terrible most places are going to be average or above average and a few epic areas i believe with all the winter precipitation and moisture and the slow warm-up overall i think it's going to be an above average season and really good in some areas and i'm really looking forward to this season happy hunting here are the current morel finds and reports Now to compare previous years, dating all the way back to 2006 compared to, to now, that's 12 or 13 years that you can compare. And there was a couple of earlier years, a couple of later years. I think we're, kind of, we're pretty much, um, you know, in, in some areas maybe a little ahead, but in other areas maybe a little late this year. Please listen closely to this important message. 
my love for mushrooms made me start the Morel Mushroom Hunting Club in 1999. No schooling whatsoever. I taught myself how to build a website. Actually did it with AOL Press way back in the day. And it's grown and blossomed way more than I would have ever anticipated. But it's my true passion. I started it as a hobby and it went berserk. And I've written several books. I started with Morel Mushroom Hunting Secrets and then we did a cookbook. Then we were on National Geographic Filthy Riches and unfortunately really got taken advantage of money wise. Most people think being on TV you're rich and that's far from the truth. Then went on to write another cookbook and then a, a very large field guide. Started doing guided mushroom hunts, which are forays, in 2001. Since then, have done over 200 forays and guided over 2,500 people, broadening their horizons and getting them to expand from just morel hunting to all sorts of other amazing wild edibles and, and plants and medicinal plants and mushrooms. On up here. So I hope I didn't spoil you newbies because it's not like this normally. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to have more of them. Yeah, we, we hunted and we ate and now we're still, and now we're still bringing them Speaking home. Speaking of every aspect, it's my passion. I love sharing the knowledge. Um, I love sharing my famous mother load spots. I get my enjoyment out of seeing people find them themselves and, and get excited. That's how I get my enjoyment out of it and I give up my best sights not selfish at all I uh, that's just how I, I enjoy it anything <laughs> you see <Well>. it <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's there>. <laughs> <laughs> all right you did it on your own <laughs> oh there there's more yeah, it's a bunch of You're supposed to slice it up. Well, okay. <laughs> Closing comments. Did you have a fun time? I would like to come one more time at least. Yes, <laughs> I, I hope so, you can. Yeah. I'm going to come as long as I can. I'm, that's glad. Uh, you're always welcome. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next year. And enjoy cooking for my groups and uh, the big feast. It's just uh, a great time, great experience. You like touring suitcase? Yeah, it's good. It's good. good. Website's being completely rebuilt. Uh, it's going to be launched here in the next week. Um, up to date stuff, uh, a lot more bells and whistles. Uh, it's gotten to the point that I'm no longer able to do it myself. I've had to have somebody do it to make it look good. It's got all these different sections uh, mushroom reports and uh, products, the forays, must see videos, testimonials, um, growth studies. Uh, progression maps, um, just all the all the best stuff of the club, um, free to the public, and then uh, you can log in if you're an official member um, and get into the, the member areas. It, uh, it's going to have a lot of cool stuff, new information, new videos. It's always going to have the most updated map available. Um, information about forays and a whole section on all the extra stuff that's uh, hunting tips and videos and new, all the newsletters available and another cool thing is the report your find uh, is going to be totally new and updated um, people will be able to leave comments and you can upload multiple photos and even a short video as, as well and uh, uh, you can you know, ask. You can leave comments. You can ask questions, um, and uh, and I'll I'll get back to you on the like identification um, questions and things like that. Ask you all the basic questions. You're, um, you you can even send it directly to my phone for identification purposes.
in 2015, my my host server was updating their equipment, and my web pages would no longer work on their new equipment, and it had to be upgraded. And the new upgrade is beyond my capabilities, and I had to hire them to convert everything over to the new system, and it was very costly, very timely. Once they got the basic part of it done, they taught me how to add things to it and and uh, you know add photos, add you know add sections and things like that. And I was able to to do a lot of that and added a lot to it. However, the initial cost was over six thousand dollars, and I had paid it down over half. And last summer in 2017 fell behind on making payments and now they're just abruptly demanding the entire balance in order to get the website restored and I just need your help I mean we just barely make it and I just need the website back up and going so you and I both can enjoy it and I can continue my passion Melichick or feel free to call me directly I'll answer any questions whatsoever I'm here for you, and I'm stoked, and my first foray is in a little over a week, and I can't wait. Make sure to find my Facebook pages as well, join my groups, like my pages, post your pictures and finds, questions, and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. I, I have an entire series of several topics on morels that I'll be uploading this spring. Happy hunting and I'll see you in the woods, and thank you so much for your support.